So in chapter 5, the, con uh, the conservation of mass for a steady flow process means that the, the, cha the total uh, mass flow rate of the inlet is always going to be equal to the mass flow rate of the outlet. So m dot equals uh, density area times velocity. Uh, the rate of energy transport by mass equals e dot mass equals m dot h plus v squared over 2 plus gz where u is and then you look at the next equation u plus pv plus v squared over 2 plus gz where u is the internal energy pv uh, is the flow energy v squared over 2 is the kinetic energy and gz is the potential energy for the energy balance of an open system it's always going to be q in plus uh, q dot in plus w dot in plus delta m dot of the inlet times h plus v squared over 2 plus gz equals q, q dot out plus work dot out plus the delta m dot of the outlet uh, times h plus v squared over 2 plus gz. And to get just the heat transfer in terms of just kilojoules, you take the q dot either in or out and divide it by the m dot to just get it in terms of kilojoules. So the devices in control volume. So a nozzle is where you have the inlet um, area is larger than the outlet area so you're going to have increased pressure and velocity going through it. Where a diffuser is the other way around where the inlet of the flow rate or the, inlet, the area of the inlet is going to be smaller than the area of the outlet. Then there's turbines, compressors, and pumps where a turbine uses energy or uses the heat to create work Compressors compress down, uh, use work to compress a liquid or a gas or anything. And then pumps move um, liquids or gases through a controlled volume. And then there's uh, throttling valves, mixing chambers, and heat exchangers. Where a throttling valve can change the flow rate of the liquid or gas and a mixing chamber is where you have either multiple inlets and one outlet or multiple inlets and multiple outlets to where those two inlets will combine together to create a completely separate outlet and then a heat exchanger is where heat either le uh, Heat will you'll use the flow rate to move heat. So under the ideal gas laws, you can get the change in the enthalpy for an ideal gas to equal Cp delta T, and for delta U, it's always going to be Cv delta T, and then PV or pressure times specific volume equals RT, and then you can change that again to equal density to equal P over RT.